Hello, this is Chris Menard. Uh, this morning I'm going to show you something in Microsoft Excel that's pretty cool. So I have an Excel file already open and it's already in tabular format which is really what you need. My header row is row number one. If you notice I have a list of states in column E and over here in column I I have purchases to date and J's got income. I'm going to make a pivot table and do something cool in the pivot table. Uh, one of my rules is before you create a pivot table, A1 to K36 is a range or a list. Let's convert it to a table with control and the letter T. Click OK. If you don't like the filters, just go turn them off. The data tab, filter. One advantage of changing your range to a table is if I start scrolling down, I can still see automatically my header row. I don't have to freeze panes or anything. The other advantage is after I make my pivot table, if I, if I add someone new in row 37, it'll pick it up in the pivot table automatically. So let me go make the pivot table. Insert tab, pivot table, it says table one, new worksheet, click OK. Now, listed over to the right hand side of my monitor or is the header row. I'm going to check state. So there are all the states. I'm also going to check purchases to date. It summed them up. I'm going to double click B3. Actually, I'm going to right click. And I'm going to change the number format and I'm just going to make it currency. You can pick whatever you want. Click OK. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to add purchases to date again. So I'm going to have to click and drag it and drop it. This time I'm going to right click C3, show values as, and I'm going to do percentage of grand total. My grand total is 35,066. And there are my percentages already set up and formatted as percentages. And if you want to test it to see if it's right, I'm going to copy, paste the values, auto sum, so that number is right, equals 8,023 divided by 35,000. You have to make cell B25 absolute reference by pressing the F4 function key. So that percentage is correct. Pull it down and they're all correct. The advantage is if I do the pivot table it automatically did the absolute reference so I don't have to worry about doing what I just did down here. If these numbers change in my data, let's go see if this works. California, I'm just putting somebody in. 6,000, go back to sheet 2, click in your data, pivot table tools, analyze, refresh, watch that 8,023, perfect, there we go. So I just showed you how to pull a field down, right click on it, and use show values as. When you come to my Excel training, I cover much more detail in pivot tables. Thank you, have a good weekend.